Trust your first impression. What do you see around you? What can you imagine is there? Forest. A forest. Very good. Lots of trees. Lots a jungle. Of, jungle. A jungle, jungle forest. Very good. A uh, dark a cliff. This the rocks are very are black. They're black. Black rocks. Mm -hmm. And the forest is very thick. A very thick forest. And there's separation between the side that I'm on and the rocks and the cliffs are on the other side. Mm -hmm. What is between you and the other side? It's it's their cliffs. There, it's this. The earth has been. It's it's not together. It's uh. And it looks like there's water. Everything's. Mm, it looks black. Mm -hmm. It looks black. It, uh, I don't know if it blends in with the cliff itself. The water looks black? It, it doesn't look clear. Everything looks black, even though there's a flow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. So it could be. I, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so there's. It's falling over it, and it's very deep. It feels very deep. Very deep chasm there? Yeah, very much so. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little further in. I'm not. On the edge of it because it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I want you to focus on yourself, the observer of this scene. Do you feel male or female there? I feel male. Mm -hmm. And about how old do you feel there? In my 20s. 20s. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm young. I'm You're young. Very fit, vibrant. Mm -hmm. I have on a. a uh, like a grass skirt kind of sort of and their boots but they look everything looks to be made kind of, of, of straw material mm -hmm. yeah and my uh, skin complexion is dark brown dark brown mm -hmm. yes, so I have straight hair straight hair is it long or short it's short mm -hmm. are you carrying anything looks like a bow a uh, bow mm. a, a Ah, uh, something for hunting. It's um, a back with the uh, has arrows and mm -hmm. it's a it's a bow and arrows basically. So I guess I'm hunting. Mm hmm. But right now you're seeing the scene. Yes. And what's what's going through your emotions as you're watching this? How do you feel about this scene? I'm okay. Mm -hmm. it's a, it seems to be a place I've been to. As, Feels normal to me. Feels comfortable there? Mm hmm. Very I'm good. Sure. Very good. So let's see. Are you alone or with others there? I'm by myself. So let's see what you're doing there. I'd like for you to take me with you to see where you go to next. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm walking through the forest. Mm -hmm. It's blue and green mostly. Blue and green. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where does the blue come from? The plants. The plants are blue? Yeah, some mm -hmm. are blue, some are green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very thick. Very thick. Very thick. And look down at the ground. What's on the ground? What does it look like? The ground is covered with a lot of shrub and it's it's overgrown. Overgrown? Yeah. But, um, there's a pathway, I guess, from walking. Mm hmm So you see pieces of, of dirt that look dark red. Dark red dirt? Yes. Mm-hmm. Pieces, parts of it, yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's see where you go to. You can advance the scene to see where it is that the destination is leading you to. To the village. To the village. Describe this village for me. Well, it's primitive. It's huts mm -hmm. um, made of grass and uh, they're grass huts. Mm -hmm. They're round, have an opening at the top. And how many do you see there? They gathered. They gathered together mm -hmm. and. They're sitting around in a circle. Um, it's like a it's a community. 
a community, community. Mm -hmm. people yeah and so they um they're chatting and they're talking mm -hmm. do you see anything interesting happening here the way they're acting or talking no that they're happy mm -hmm. they're at peace do you see any children or any women oh yeah mm -hmm. women children it's it's a community of people mm -hmm. so let's see how you fit into this community i want you to go to the place where you live your hut You tell me what it looks like. Well, it's an average hut. It doesn't look different than anyone mm -hmm. else's hut. How I, do you get in? I just, it, it has an open door. Mm -hmm. I walk in, and it's a nice size. Mm -hmm. um, there's like something like bamboo that frames it out. Mm -hmm. And though the top part of it is round, it peaks. Mm -hmm. It peaks. There's fur on the floor. I have a wife. Mm -hmm. She has long black hair. Long black hair. I have a little son. He's he's cute. Uh, looks like he's maybe three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's dressed in a fur. In a fur. Fur fur like a, a animal fur dress mm -hmm. that's wrapped she has a a uh, belt mm -hmm. that's made of it that ties around it she greets me warmly and she has a pot that she's prepared food from. what's in the pot take a look it looks like stew of some sort. Mm hmm. That's, that's a form of potato, carrot. It looks like maybe some green things in it. Mm hmm. And the bowl that my son and I and her eat out of are made for some form of um, tree bark, something, wood. Mm hmm some sort and we can have it together and there's a fire in the center of it that uh, made from uh, bricks hmm. that surround it that are at the center of the house or the hut if you will mm -hmm. how does it feel like to be there with your family warm mm -hmm. very happy it's a very loving family yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're, we're happy we're peaceful beautiful so now that you know where you live and your family, I'd like for you to close that scene and let's move ahead to another scene in that same lifetime when something very important is happening. Allow yourself to open into that scene and tell me where you are. Look around you. Where are you? It's hard to describe. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm I'm not on the ground. Mm-hmm. Describe it for me. Like I'm traveling over things. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that is. I don't feel. Just go with the flow. Like it's like it's. Mm -hmm. Underneath, I'm producing a dome. A dome? Tell me about that. It travels with me. This dome travels with you? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like a light that emanates from me. Mm hmm. Let's see what you look like as you're traveling. How do you see yourself? Do you have a body? Yes. Mm -hmm. Describe yourself. It's, um, it's weird. I am um, more animal form. Mm -hmm. More animal form. 
What kind of animal? Uh, more bird-like, mm -hmm. actually. Blue. blue. A, bl a blue bird? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very expansive wings. What do your features look like? Beak. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Yellow ah. beak. Feathers that extend out of my head. Mm -hmm. and back. My crown, they go back. Mm -hmm. Yellow three clawed feet. Mm -hmm. Three clawed feet? Yes. And what do your legs look like? They're bird like. Bird like. Mm -hmm. Bird, I'm, I'm a very big bird. Mm hmm. Is this there? gem of this it emanates from my from my stomach and my wings. What emanates from it this dome? Light. Light. The light. Mm hmm It's a blue green light. Similar to the colors of the forest. Mm -hmm. It's a very forested planet. Mm hmm Lots of forest. It's primarily covered in forest. Beautiful. So let's find out what your role is on this planet. What do you do? What do you do with this light? It seems to give, it gives life, mm. gives life to the... It gives light and it heals. It's it's an energy that the planet feeds from. Mm -hmm. And I fly and I spread the light over nature. Mm -hmm. Over nature. And I freely fly wherever I want. And I'm full of life and energy. Mm -hmm. It's boundless for me. Mm -hmm. How big do you project yourself to be? Very big. Mm -hmm. I'm very big. Hard to describe. Mm -hmm. Big. And beautiful. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about yourself. Let's find out where you reside. On a cliff. Mm -hmm. Well, I've landed on a cliff. Yes. Where do I reside? Where do I live mm -hmm. as, a, as a bird being? Yes. Well, so far I can see the cliff. I see some of us that hang off of the cliff. Mm-hmm. Uh, are there more of you? Yes. Any. Mm-hmm. Do they all look the same? Similar in color. Mm -hmm. We look like a family. I do not know if we live on the, we rest on the cliff. Mm -hmm. Maybe we live there, I don't know. How do you hang off of the cliff? With our claws. Mm -hmm. In any particular way? Oh, uh, forward. Then our necks are turned to the side, mm -hmm. one side or the other, and we 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 clamp against the cliff. It goes into it's a it's not rock per se, but it's like clayish mm -hmm. uh, that our claws go into. And what color is this cliff? It's a deep red. A deep red. Very good. So let's see what happens. What happens next? Tell me more about your life. Continue on this journey. Hmm. What do you experience? I experience more of the same. It appears in this life. My function is very simple. Your function is very simple. 
very simple. Mm-hmm. It's to feed, nurture nature on this planet and to integrate with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, holistically. Mm-hmm. Very good. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime when you are completed doing the nurturing and tell me what happens to you. I'm lying on my side. My wings are folded. I'm just old. Mm-hmm. I'm tired. I just saw them tired. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and transition out of that body. Take your last breath there. And tell me what happens to your soul. It floats. Mm -hmm. It floats out above it. It goes through the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Go through the atmosphere. Out into space. Mm -hmm. I see the hue of the planet now. Mm -hmm. What does it look like from space? A dark blue. Dark blue. It's a dark blue planet. It is. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful though. It has Uh, a lot of the land mass is covered in green and some is like a light light brown light sandy kind of color mm -hmm. yeah does it have water it does mm -hmm. it does so let's see where you go to now how do you transition What do you mean? How do you go after this? Let's continue on your journey. Let's see where you go. What do you see next? Describe everything around you. I see darkness. Mm -hmm. I see stars. Beautiful. I see the vastness of space mm -hmm. for me. I haven't landed on any planet. I'm in space. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Like I can go anywhere, do anything. Mm -hmm. So I, I hover. I have no body. Mm hmm. Though I can see. Mm hmm. So let's go drifting and floating through space to another life, another time where there's information that will help you in the very best way. Drifting and floating through time and space. And allow yourself to see another life that's significant to you. What's your first impression there? I'm a man. A man. Mm-hmm. I, I look human of some sort. Mm -hmm. Human of some sort. Human of some sort. Uh huh. What do you mean by that? You have features that are human. I have features that are human. Mm-hmm. Body looks human overall. Mm-hmm. The the planet is dusty. The planet is dusty. Mm-hmm. What color is it? It's like a rust color. 
What do your hands look like now? They look, I look human. Mm -hmm. I look human. They, they, they look like normal hands. My skin complexion is a yes. As what? It's a tannish Tan? light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a very, it's a, existence is, is very, uh, it's a, it's a hard life. Mm -hmm. It appears that, uh, where I live, uh, my, my aircraft has crashed mm -hmm. on this planet, and I live in, in the, the wreck of it. What does your spacecraft look like? Part of it's part of it's in the earth, part of it sticks out. Mm -hmm. Describe it for me. What's it made out of? It's made out of metal. Mm -hmm. It's a grayish silver round disc disc bike. Mm -hmm. But not smooth. Not smooth. No, has seams and rivets. Mm -hmm. It looks like not large, but yeah. not seamless. Is the spacecraft for one person? No. It's. it's not vastly large, but it can hold several people. Mm -hmm. So let's find out how you got there. Let's find out about this spacecraft and your journey while it was intact. I'd like for you to go back in time and see yourself in this spacecraft with others before you crashed on this planet. Let's find out what you were doing there. Be there now. Look around you. I'm on the spacecraft. Mm -hmm. It's very beautiful. Beautiful spacecraft. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's um, round, all the way around. Mm -hmm. It has windows all around it, seating for us. We're seated around it. How many are you? Oh, at least ten. Mm -hmm. Ten of us. And it, it's a craft for exploration. Mm -hmm. So we're explorers. And my, my skin, I guess it tanned on the planet, but it is pale. Mm -hmm. Are it's, you wearing any type of clothing? Yes, I'm in a uniform. It's blue mm -hmm. and white. All of us are in the same uniform. Can you see any type of insignia on these? Yes. What does it say? It's a symbol. It's a round, silver, gold, triangle. And it has a constellation. A round constellation of stars. Mm -hmm. I guess it's symbolic of the 
galaxy that we're from. Mm -hmm. What galaxy are you from? What comes to mind? Does it have a name? It's a strange name. Can you spell it? It's Delon. It's Delon. Delon? Stellan. Stellan. Yeah. Mm hmm That's where you're from. And as you look at each other, are you all human? We are. Mm hmm So let's find out what this exploration is all about. Where are you going? Oh, there's, there's one of us that's, that's not. One of you are not human? No. What do you look, what does he look like? He's dark brown and he looks somewhat reptilian. Mm-hmm. Though, uh, he walks upright, he's, he's, he's intelligence, mm -hmm. he's high intelligence. And what is his role in this exploration? What does he do there? He's, uh, a, he's a technician. A technician. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what do you do on this ship? I, I'm the captain. You're the captain. Do you have a name? Oh, Tracor. Tracor? Yes. Mm hmm. So, Tracor, let's find out what this mission is all about. Where are you going? You're going to get uh, soil samples. We want to see. If, if life can be created, uh, that habitat can be made to grow life and form on the planet. Mm -hmm. It was the planet that I, I, I crashed on. So let's find out what happened. What happened to make this crafts crash? There were crystals that were the energy that propelled the craft. The crystals propel the craft? Yes. Mm -hmm. It looks like the crystals something happened to them. I don't Heat. Heat? Damaged them. The heat damaged the crystals? Yeah, the energy from them dissipated. Mm -hmm. Where did this energy we come needed from? needed it to propel the craft forward. Uh -huh. And we lost pr propulsion. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't guide the craft like we needed to to the planet that we wanted to explore. And it crashed. Crashed. And tell me how many survivors there were. It appears to be three of us. Mm -hmm. Tricor, who else is with you? Two, two myself, another man, and, and a woman. Mm -hmm. The three of us. It, uh, we buried, though the ground was very hard, we buried our crewmates. Mm -hmm. It was ter terrible. Sad time for us. Mm -hmm. Very sad time. Horrible. We miss our families. We're alone. We can't communicate with anyone. 
Is this life, is this a lifeless planet? It is very barren. Mm -hmm. Survival is very hard. I see nothing on it to sustain us. There's no life on this planet. So, Tracor, what happens next? We live off of our supplies. I become... very destitute. My crewmates die. It's just me. I'm alone. You're alone on that planet? I'm alone. It's just me. And oh. I don't know how I will survive. There's no so Tracor, now go to the last day of your life on that planet. Tell me what's happening. I'm sitting outside my craft. Up against exhausted. How long have you been there? I went out there to die. There was nothing left for me to do but to die. The Tracor take your last breath in that lifetime. Transition out of that body. Leave that body behind you. And as you leave that body, I want you to think about what was it that you were supposed to do in that lifetime? What was your purpose? My purpose was hmm. to help my people. The purpose is to help your people. Mm-hmm. That could sustain us. Mm-hmm. Find a planet that can sustain us. What was wrong with your planet? What was happening to it? It was dying. It was dying. It was dying. So do you feel like you were... Did your mission in this lifetime? <laughs> I feel that I failed. You failed. Mm-hmm. What lessons so, have you learned so, from that? So much... Everything was riding on you and you failed it? Much less. <laughs> I don't think there was anything else I could have done. Nothing else you could have done? And I have to accept that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Trey Carr, I want to help you before you transition even further. I'm going to put my hand on your chest, and I want you to give me all of that grief. All of that grief that you're feeling, give it to me. Feel all of it coming out of your body, knowing that you did your best. It was not up to you to keep those crystals going. It was a mistake, wasn't it? Allow all that grief to come out, all that pain. Give it to me for healing. You don't need to hold it anymore. Pull it out. Feel every cell of your body relieving yourself from that grief. Knowing that although you had a very important job, you weren't able to help any further. It was just a malfunction, wasn't it? Feel yourself relieving 
Give it to me. You need to forgive yourself, Tracor. Forgive yourself. Miss my people. You miss your people. No. Give that all to me. We're going to see your people now. Let's go see your people. You ready to see them? You ready to see your people? Give me all of that grief. Take it out. Pull it out. Pull it out of every cell of your soul. You did your best. You did your best, Tracor. You were there. You helped them to the end. You did your best as a captain. You were a good captain. You took care of your people to the end. You didn't leave anybody behind. You took care of them, didn't you? Give it to me. Feel the relief. Feel the relief. Let's take all that away. And now, Tracor, let's put in your in that vacant space something to fill it with. What would you like to fill that space with? That's empty now. Peace. Let's put peace in there. Feel that peace going in. That light. Knowing that you did your best. Knowing that you took care of your people. You did not abandon them. You did your best to the very end. Feel it going in. Breathe it in. And I'm going to touch your forehead and seal that in, Tricor. Seal that in. And now I'd like for you to continue transitioning into the light, Tricor. Mm-hmm. So heavy. Mm-hmm. You feel heavy. So sad. I'm so, I'm so hard, hard. So. Let's see where you go next, Draco. Oh. Allow that life to go behind you and let's go now. To see where you find your family again. <sighs> go drifting <laughs> through time and space and find your family again. See where they've been. See they where they've been waiting for you. Find your family. You tell me where they are. What do you see? Energy. energy. We're energy. Mm-hmm. How many are you? Outside of space and time. Mm -hmm. Many of us are like light. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize each other? We do. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be with your family again? There's, there's happiness, mm -hmm. joy, there's love. Mm -hmm. And now you understand, Tracor, that nobody died today. And I want you to see your family and ask them how they feel. They're fine. Mm -hmm. And ask them how they feel about that mission that you last did. They're okay. They understand. Mm hmm. How does that feel now? Do you feel lighter? Uh, yes. Knowing that. I feel the peace. Mm-hmm. They're okay. They're okay. We're okay. So let's find out where you go to next. What happens now that you're all together? What's your next mission? <coughs> hmm. What happens? Oh. What do you see now? Oh, we're a band of energy. You're a band of energy? We surround a planet. 
planet. You're surrounding a planet. Mm-hmm. Yes. How many are you surround? How many are you there surrounding it? Many. Mm-hmm. It appears that the the life force of, of our planet that was destroyed. It is us. Mm-hmm. And we surround the pla- another planet with the band of energy. We gave the planet life. Mm-hmm. We gave it life. So we're energy beings. They gave love and light mm-hmm. to this planet, and we give it life. Do you use a color or a frequency or energy? It's, what do you use? It's white. It's white. Mm-hmm. White, and we we move. We we rotate. You rotate. Around it's like a band, mm-hmm. a big band, and we rotate around it. And what happens once you give that energy to the planet? What does it do? It brightens it. It feeds. Mm-hmm. It feeds the souls of the beings that are on the planet. It strengthens their life force. Mm-hmm. What does this planet look like? It's tilts. It tilts. It tilts. It has our energy produces bands around Mm. it. Mm -hmm. That are visible. Really? And you can see them. If you had a scope to see this planet, mm-hmm. our energetic movement produces bands mm-hmm. that are visible. And it's tilted on the side. That's a beautiful planet. Quite beautiful. What color is this planet? It, it's it's more of a brown. Mm-hmm. It's just tan. It's brown. Does it have any life force on it? Yes. Mm-hmm. It does. Does it have any type of nature, any any foliage or trees or anything like that? They're different. They're different. What's it They're look different. like? Different. What's it look like? Yeah. Uh, Tall. There, uh, what I see is a, a particular. Uh, th- th- it's a particular kind of flower that grows from it. Mm-hmm. Green, tall green stalks. Mm-hmm. White. The tops of it shoot out, and the leaves are green and brown and brown. Is this whole planet full of these? No, just a part. Mm-hmm. There's, there's, there's animals. Mm-hmm. What do they look like? Oh, huh. Interesting. <laughs> what do they look like? One, one has four legs. Mm-hmm. Round tail. A round tail? It, it goes towards its back and it's pointed at the end like an arrow. Mm-hmm. It's a skinny type of as scraggly hair. <laughs> and now uh, here's the point. They point up or down? They point up. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Is it a big animal? No. And the legs are bent, mm-hmm. and they stick out. The elbow kind of sort of sticks out as it moves. Mm-hmm. That's a strange-looking creature. Mm-hmm. More uh, earth underneath it. Mm-hmm. Patches of patches of earth. Patches of growth of uh, 
green, purple. Green, purple, green, and purple. Mm -hmm. Well, from the earth. Mm -hmm. Like moss. Are, are there any beings on this besides the animals? Yes. What do they look like? They're tall. They're tall? They're blue. Mm hmm. Yeah, they're long. Legs, long arms, round head, big eyes. They're very tall. Mm hmm. Skin. They have uh, dots on their skin, white dots. White dots on their skin? On their skin. Mm hmm. Do these dots do anything? No. They're just decorative? Yeah, they, it's just their pigment. Mm hmm. It's their pigment. They're so tall. Are they humanoid looking? Do they have two arms and two legs? They do. Mm hmm. What do their hands look like? Long fingers, three fingers, one thumb, small nose, long slits for the lips. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, they're androgynous looking. Mm hmm. They don't feel male or female. They don't appear to. Mm -hmm. huh. Oh wow! What do you see? A beautiful city. A beautiful city. Tell me more. Silver. Lit. Flying aircraft. Flying aircraft. Yes. Mm hmm. Advanced civilization. Mm -hmm. yeah, very advanced. Quite beautiful. How oh. it has some buildings that have height. Mm -hmm. Some are domed. Some are domed. Do they have any windows or anything like that? Glass. Glass windows. Mm -hmm. It's very... The whole building is glass? They're buildings. Mm -hmm. Not all. Some are made of metal, some type of shiny silver metal. Mm -hmm. And all have glass. It's beautiful. They're... They're... they're it depends. Parts of the planet, they float. Some parts of the planet, they, they're built out from the cliffs. Mm -hmm. From the land, they come forth. And some float. Some of these cities are floating? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do they float on? Whatever their technology is. Mm -hmm. Causes them to be suspended. Mm -hmm. They're, they're suspended. It's not like they float. They're suspended. Okay. They're suspended. Most the beautiful cities they have. They're gorgeous. And these buildings are for these beings. These yes, blue beings. Mm hmm. They must That's be very big. They they're big. They're they're, they're tall. Mm hmm. They're lean and they're tall. Is there any water on this planet? Yes. There is. There is. Oh. Are there any beings in the water? They have animals. They have, they have beings that are natural to the water. Mm -hmm. This planet has, is vibrant. It has plenty of life. Our energy mm -hmm. aids it tremendously. It's why it's so vibrant. Mm -hmm. It's as if we, though we are part of it, but we, we feed it, mm -hmm. we bless it, we 
nurture it, we cover it, and they thrive as a result. Do these beings know that you are there? They do. Mm -hmm. They are aware of us. They don't quite know how to communicate with us, but we read their thoughts. Mm -hmm. We read their thoughts. We transmit thoughts to mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. We place them in their minds. What kind of thoughts are being exchanged? We've taught them how to build mm -hmm. the city that they live in. How to sustain themselves. How to maintain what they have. We help them. We give them energies of light and love. They're very peaceful people as a result. Mm -hmm. They appreciate what we do. They honor us. How does that make you feel? Very happy. Very appreciated. Mm -hmm. Very appreciated. Because what we get, they receive, and they thrive, and they grow. They feel us. They honor us. And we're happy. doing what we do. It's such a beautiful planet. Mm -hmm. Does this planet have a name? Sh Sh Shirahan. Shirahan? Shirahan. The C-I-R-R-O-H-O-N. Mm -hmm. Shirahan. Beautiful planet. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And you say they have advanced technology. It's an advanced planet. It's, mm -hmm. They have craft. The cities are very... Oh, they're just seamlessly. They're just beautiful. I can't describe how gorgeous they are. They, they're... Oh, they're so advanced. Mm-hmm. Do these beings from this planet go anywhere else? Yes. Yes, they do. They have missions. Mm-hmm. They have missions. Are you involved in their missions? Do you give them ideas about these missions? Yes. Mm-hmm. We do. We transmit thought. We're, we're connected. Mm -hmm. We're connected to other beings. We're connected to other beings. And we help. Our job is to help life to thrive on other planets. Mm -hmm. It's such a great I'm happy to be a part of it. <laughs> it took wonders. We help beings to grow. You help and beings evolve. to grow and fly? And grow. Thrive and, evo and evolve. Mm -hmm. And evolve. Our job. Our job is to help beings grow and to nurture them so that they evolve. And then they continue to evolve. Very good. So let's close that scene now. Let's close that lifetime. And let's continue on your journey. Let's continue to the point where you decided to come to Earth. I want you to meet with your guides, your counsel, those that assisted you in deciding your mission to Earth. Oh, 
tell me where you are? I'm not in the physical space. Mm -hmm. They sit. They're very large. Mm -hmm. These beings are very large. They mm -hmm. sit as if they're in together. I see three. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? They have on robes. Robes? Mm -hmm. But I think that this is a projection of them. Mm -hmm. They are energy. They are energy. They just project themselves as this? They project themselves. Mm -hmm. Do they show th themselves as any particular gender? They're all male. Male. I'm just wondering what's with the male thing. Mm -hmm. I'm male, they're male, everything's male. I don't mm -hmm. know what that is. <laughs> so what do you look like? What are you projecting small. yourself to be? Small. You're small? My stature is small in comparison to my stand before them. Mm -hmm. And your mail? Why, dear God? <laughs> Are you dressed in anything in particular while you're before these beings? Long robe. Long robe. Unt, unt. I have white hair. White hair? Tall. Do you and feel young or old there? I don't feel old. But my hair is white. Mm hmm. Is it long or short? It's long. Long hair. How long is it? Oh, goes past my shoulder blades. Mm hmm My robe is pale. Pale, pale pink. Pale pink. Mm -hmm. Pale pink. Are you wearing any type of ornament on this robe? Not at all. So let's see where is this place where you're meeting with these beings, these very large beings. It feels like a cavern of some sort. A cavern? Like a cave. Like a cave, okay. Describe this cave for me. Ah. Uh. It's cut out there. It's hollowed out. I don't know if they've done it. There's nothing there but them and the. That's it. There's nothing there, but but them and I mm -hmm. and the walls, and the, the walls of the cave. Mm -hmm. Is this cave illuminated? It's dark. It's not. Uh, I can see them. They can see me. Mm -hmm. There's, there's the light that we create mm -hmm. in this cave. Otherwise, it would be dark. How is this light created? We we just seem to, just our being. Mm -hmm. This produces the light. Very good. So, what is it that you are discussing with these beings? About your next mission? Where? Where I'm to go? Mm -hmm. It seems that my life force is strong, but that I will have many missions, many, and that I'm enthusiastic about it. Mm -hmm. I don't hesitate. I'm, I'm willing and ready and able to accomplish the missions that they send me on. I know I'll be successful at them. I'm, I'm very confident about, about my missions, but my mission 
I'm an energetic being. Mm-hmm. I'm an energy. I'm an energy. Mm-hmm. And my energy gives life. It's a life force. And it's very strong. Mm-hmm. It's very strong. It, it, it's quite powerful. So what's the mission? Where are you needed? All over. So much of the the universe needs needs help. Mm-hmm. It needs the help of those who give it life to help it to thrive, to to shed love, to help them along the the path. Some mix misstep. Some Some fall into darkness. One of my purposes is to help them to to shed light on their paths, to help them to walk towards love, towards light, so that they evolve along the path that that the, the Creator has made for them. My mission is to, to help beings that have fallen. Help beings that are fallen? That have fallen. Mm-hmm. That need light shined on their path. I... And sometimes it's one. Sometimes it's many. Sometimes it's a planet. Mm-hmm. So what do you have to do now with planet Earth? Oh. I am the life force. My very being. Protects energy. My very being is like it's a dome of light. Mm-hmm. It, it spreads out. It touches things and people. Energizes it, it affects the souls. Mm-hmm. How does it affect the souls? They become quickened. Mm-hmm. They, it starts, it propels them, it creates motion towards higher consciousness, towards. Them becoming the souls that they were meant to be. There is forgetfulness here. Mm-hmm. People forget. They forget who they are. They forget that they are souls connected to the Creator. My purpose is by being and doing. Being and doing. Will you forget? Yeah. Will you forget your mission when you arrive? I have mm-hmm. a part of me, will always alive. Parts of me were always connected. Mm-hmm. The essence of my being never forgot. The veil was thin, but my. Fears as I became human. Your fears became human. As I became human, it crouched upon me. Mm-hmm. It dimmed my light. 
Mm-hmm. And the experiences begin to touch on the veil. Mm-hmm. Brought me closer to my purpose. Mm-hmm. Though my 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 being mm-hmm. was still what it was. Your my being was your being was still what it was. Still what it was, what it is. Mm-hmm. And I always knew. Mm-hmm. Oh, I always knew. And it it, it was celebrates now. Why did it take so long for this woman to finally see the light again? Uh, How fierce her, her, she, she she became lost into from love based on society religions philosophies mm-hmm. that have weighed down humanity here and though they had light she was drawn to the light she was always drawn to the light she was always drawn to the light of it mm-hmm. but it had snares and it, it snared her mm-hmm was it done on purpose? No. We tried. We tried. You tried to release her from that snare? To pull her from. Mm-hmm. She was afraid. Mm-hmm. So she didn't listen. Mm-hmm. She didn't listen. Is she listening now? Oh, she's fully awake now. Mm-hmm. She hears. She knows. Also, she is. Is she a healer? No. She's that. And then some. Mm-hmm. She's so much more. She's such a life force. Her life force is very strong. Mm-hmm. She's powerful. Very powerful. It seems that people, people listen to her. Very wise. But she's very confused about that. She doesn't understand how to handle this now. This human part of her. She, she grows. And then she, she... She has to let go of fear. Mm-hmm. And she just walks in knowingness. All things will unfold and manifest. Things will come so easy to her if she would just let go of the fear. Mm-hmm. Embrace what she is. What she is. She must strengthen her practices. She must meditate more. Meditate more. She must sit with herself in her sanctuary. Mm-hmm. Connect with you? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. More. It strengthens her. It unfolds things before her. We download to her. When do you download to her? more receptive when she's doing her work. Mm-hmm. She's more receptive when she prays and meditates. Mm-hmm. We guide her. We speak to her. How many are there of you that help her? She wanted to know if there was archangels that were working with her. She has great life forces. Mm-hmm. She has four in particular. 
Who are the four? She has Raphael is very strong with her. Raphael. Metatron is strong with her. Mm-hmm. Michael is strong with her. Azel. Who is it? Azel. Azel? Strong with her. Mm-hmm. Are these archangels? Yes. Mm-hmm. How do they help her? I help her in her healing work. Mm-hmm. I work closely with her. She's very connected. Mm-hmm. Very connected. Who's the one that speaks to her through her pendulum? Her higher self does. I do. Mm-hmm. Our higher self is the is the pendulum. Yes. What about the cards? I do. <laughs> so you're there in both, no matter what she's using. Yes. Mm-hmm. Always. So when she's doing her healing work for others, either through the pendulum or cards or the removal of spirits or ancestors, this is all real, isn't it? Very much. Mm-hmm. So how what could you tell her to find her? finally make her understand that this is real, what she's doing. It's just not airy-fairy stuff. She... We can't show. She can only believe. Mm -hmm. So she has to believe. She just needs to have faith mm -hmm. and believe that we are here. We work with her always. Mm -hmm. That her archangels surround her. That she's a powerful life force. Mm -hmm. She's so strong. She only knew how powerful she was. She would have no doubt, no fear. Well, she has doubts sometimes that the prayers work within hours, and sometimes they don't work at all. Why is that? Because she doesn't see things happen instantly. Mm -hmm. Because she's impatient. <laughs> she needs she needs to allow to be sit in allowance mm -hmm. to allow things to unfold as they should. Her prayers don't fall away. They're not diminished. They're not worthless. Mm -hmm. They have value to the souls that she prays for. They cover the souls that she prays for. They cover them in love and light. The souls. They have, they have a healing effect on them. And even though they may not know consciously these beings, they are touched by it. Our prayers are always of service. Her prayers are always of service. She just has to give them time. She has to understand how this works. Can you explain how a prayer works, please? <clears throat> I can explain the process. Mm -hmm. The process where she prays. They, everyone, have different Lessons. Everyone has at different levels. Everyone has different levels. Depending upon the level that they're at, and their allowance and acceptance determines the effectiveness of the prayers. Mm -hmm. That she works so diligently, she works so hard at it. Mm -hmm. And she also needs to know 
all she needs to do she doesn't have to force her prayers she just needs to just pray mm -hmm. that is all that is all thank you very much you said that the archangels work with her are there any personal garden in garden guardian angels that work with her She has a band. Mm. <laughs> she has many. Entourage? There are many. Mm -hmm. How many are there at this time? I can't. Oh. Too many? There's a circle of them. Mm -hmm. There's a circle. Huh. She has many. <laughs> This room must be very crowded there are today. Many, there, are many, there, there are many in service. Mm -hmm. Are they all here they, today? They have waited. <laughs> they have waited. They have waited. They have wings? They have waited. They have waited. They've waited. They've, They've waited, waited to be acknowledged? They've waited to actively be used mm. towards service. So these angels, these these guardian oh. angels, are around us, but we don't. Oh. We need to ask for their service. Yes. Has she asked but, them? Oh, she does now. Okay. She does now. She wasn't consciously aware. She wasn't consciously aware of them. So are these angels oh. now jumping for joy today? They have been for a little while now. Mm-hmm. Such force, such, such force, my chest is heavy. From the force of these beings, this round is so, she's, she, she's very connected. Very connected to them? They are very connected to her. Mm -hmm. That they're, they're there to help her. She must use the force of these beings mm -hmm. to help others. Do these beings have any specific roles that they play, each one individually? Do they have the jobs? They're, they're roles of support for her. Okay. However she chooses to use them, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're there for her. Wonderful. They, they, she calls and they come. She asks and they answer. Wonderful. She, she reaches. Get her. And, they, and they're, they're there. They're powerful. <laughs> She's strong with them. Mm -hmm. She's so strong with them. It's, yeah, I can't describe. It's, Can it's, she use these uh, beings to help, for example, to help her mother and her help her father and things yeah. like that? Can she? Yeah. Does she need to do anything in this session today or can she just oh. request the healing? And she is such a powerful being herself. She, she can be questioned. Mm -hmm. All she needs to do is pray. Is pray. Is pray. And says, wow. They have surrounded her mother's home. They surrounded her mother's home? They're there mm -hmm. now. Wonderful. They're there. Such a life force mm -hmm. is around her parents' home. Wow. They're already there. Wonderful. Can you have her request assistance for all of those that she wanted to help today? <laughs> Yeah. 
She can do these things. Mm -hmm. She can do these things. Wonderful. She's so equipped. She's so connected. To ask, she was coming from a standpoint of being so small. Mm -hmm. She just saw herself as a little being. One little being calling for all these great beings to help her. She doesn't know how powerful and great she is, how vast she is, how connected she is. She's so vast. She's not small. She's great. She's big. All she has to do is pray for them. And it is done. Beautiful. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Changing the subject, what does it mean to be a soulmate? Oh, soulmate. Mm -hmm. Soulmate is someone who you're energetically Energetically connected they, to you. They, for frequency, is similar to yours. Mm -hmm. Though their life purpose or mission may be different mm -hmm. than yours, but their frequency is the same. So you don't have to be wedded to a soulmate. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be your companion. A soulmate is just someone who is on your same frequency. Same frequency. Same frequency. Mm -hmm. Are there many soulmates or not? You can have several. Mm -hmm. They can be your companion. They can be your friend. Mm -hmm. They can even be those who are embodied as your family. Mm -hmm. It's the frequency. It's the frequency. So we have given it a wrong meaning then. It, yes. Mm -hmm. We misunderstand. So people are suffering because they're always looking for something yeah. that they may have lost, maybe. So they're all around. Mm -hmm. They're there. They're like they're members of your tribe. Members of your tribe. A spiritual tribe. Mm -hmm. They feel, they feel a certain way to you. You flow with them a certain way. Mm -hmm. Your soul knows them. You recognize them? Your soul recognizes mm -hmm. them. It's the frequency. The frequency. It's the frequency. Always the frequency. Yes. So is Doreen close to finding her soulmate? Her soulmates? Her oh. tribe? Her soulmate. Companion soulmate. Mm hmm. Seems her purpose is so much greater mm -hmm. than that. What should she be focusing on instead of that soulmate thing? Her work. Her work. Her mission. Mm -hmm. Her mission is so much more important. Tell her exactly in your terms what her mission is on this earth. We, we, we've heard it before. She, she, is, she is to help others to find the truth of their being. Mm -hmm. to not be tethered to mores, religions, philosophies, mm -hmm. but to know, learn to flow and tune into their souls. Mm -hmm. She's here to bring about understanding. We've given her the ability to speak, mm -hmm. to speak so that she can communicate. 
Well, right, right now, she is in a job that she wants to retire soon from. We, we will do all that we can to let her sister. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so she will have a steady income? She will continue to have the income from the job that she has. Mm -hmm. And we will move her towards other ways so that she can't fully be about her purpose. Mm -hmm. Very good. She, she, she needs to be about this work. She, it weighs on her heavy. Mm -hmm. She's alive. When she does it, she shines. Mm -hmm. She radiates a life force beyond her understanding when she's a part of this work. Mm -hmm. She was asking about real estate. It is there for her. It is there for them. It will unfold. All right. So the, what she wants to do will happen. Well, she's, she's, it is, it is a strong avenue for her. Mm-hmm. We will unfold you will move for her. Okay, good. So is that one of the things that we should ask one of her guides to help her with? Her guides always help her. Mm-hmm. They, they, there's nothing that she does not ask. Okay. That they do not help for we, we, there's no need to ask them. They want to help her. They want to lift her. They want to propel her forward. They want to move her forward so much more stronger and so much more quicker. Than what she has been moving. <laughs> so they want to move her faster than she's willing to move? she's been mm. moving in the past. Mm -hmm. So whatever she needs. Very good. That they're to give it to her. Mm -hmm. Any guidance on moving forward? <sighs> on the spiritual path? Shh. Build her sanctuary stronger. Build her sanctuary Get stronger. her pyramid. Mm hmm Keep water in it. Mm hmm Drink the life force of the water. Mm hmm To our prayers and meditation mm -hmm. under this energetic shape. Wonderful. And this will help her. This, this will open. It will open her up more spiritually. It will raise her vibrational frequency. Mm -hmm. It will expand her. Mm -hmm. It will plug her in mm -hmm. so much more. The shape of the pyramid is very effective for everyone? It is. Mm -hmm. it, it works with the earth. Mm -hmm. The it, it works with the universe. It channels the energies of the earth and the universe. It unifies it and it creates a vortex of energy that invigorates the, the physical being. Mm -hmm. It helps with the, with the third eye. Mm -hmm. It helps with the, the body. Mm -hmm. It heals, it opens you up spiritually. So meditating under a pyramid would help tremendously for anybody? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Any particular material that it should be made out of? Copper. Copper. It, 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 they can use the frame mm -hmm. of it. Frame of the copper? Mm -hmm. All they need is a 
the frame okay. of the pyramid. Does it have to be perfect pyramid shape? They will, they want it as close mm -hmm. to the dimensions as they can get it. Mm -hmm. it though, if it's not a hundred percent, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But they should strive to get it to close. Very good. The angles are important. Angles are important. It, 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 it affects the vortex of the energy that is created. Okay. And what about using crystals with this pyramid? Within the pyramid. Mm -hmm. In the corners. The crystals intensify. They magnify the energy. Mm -hmm. They, they help. It, it also aids the crystals themselves. Mm. The crystals are alive. Mm -hmm. They are life force. They vibrate. Mm -hmm. They, they are full of love and light. And they radiate that. Mm -hmm. But they magnify it as well. They heal. They, they they do better in that environment. Wonderful. Any particular crystal that she should be using? She has several. Mm -hmm. They she has what she needs. Okay. Good. Very good. She wanted to ask a little bit about her sensitivity to the light. What's that all about? Sensitivity to the light is just is based upon. She has oh, a different clock. A different clock? Mm hmm. Her hours, her, her, her rhythm is different. Is she in a different time zone? It's not, it's not the, it's not Earth's. Mm -hmm. it, it, she works with it, but it's, it, it's foreign to her. Mm -hmm. So, we, we, we say to make the necessary adjustments she needs. Mm -hmm. It is the side effect mm. to, to to her beingness on this planet right now. So it's affecting her eyes. It's just the side effect mm. to her being a physical mm -hmm. form on this planet and her rhythm, her being different. It's it's just the side effect to her difference. She's used to a different rhythm, mm -hmm. a different clock. Where is she from originally? Oh, many places. Many places. As we saw. Many places. Mm -hmm. How about her? Her natural state is energetic. Energetic. It's energetic. She takes different forms. Mm -hmm. She's most happy when she's energy. <laughs> so this body must really weigh her down. It's necessary mm -hmm. for her to do the mission that she came. Mm -hmm. She was called. She was called to do it. This is Planet of sorrow. A planet of sorrow. So much sorrow. Who called her? No. The beings of this planet give off a frequency. They vibrate a frequency that goes forth into the universe. Mm -hmm. And it's a calling. It's a call of sorrow. Mm -hmm. Such sorrow. They are so weighed down. They're so 
such darkness. The souls are so sad here. They want to be free from the weight of it. So, souls like me heed the call and we come forth. Mm -hmm. We sacrifice to help to raise the frequency. How many? So, how many of those are on this planet now that have listened to this request for assistance? More. How many are here mm -hmm. that have created the call? Yes. Oh. Wow. As you ask me that, mm -hmm. I can tell you this. So are being born to the souls that are being born now. Mm -hmm. There's many. Mm -hmm. They have little dots of light. So many are coming forth now. There are those of us that, that have been beacons, but we needed more light. Mm -hmm. And so the call was placed. Mm -hmm. And now it's quickened. Mm -hmm. So more come. More come now. We were discussing before this session how it seems right now that this planet is all waking up with information. It's almost as if these seeds have been planted for a long time in darkness and now they're waking up and sprouting. It is, what is causing that? It is time. It is time. just time. The earth is a living being. Mm -hmm. It has a cycle of time. It moves in space and time. The universe moves. The galaxy moves. All are on clocks of time. And the beings on this planet were weighed down. There was a season and a time mm -hmm. for their growth and their evolution. And because they have been so in darkness, we come forth to quicken them. Mm -hmm. Because we want the call to the souls because it is done and some will be left we want more so many more to when you say that some will be left what's going to happen to the earth? My spirit sees spirit. And so those whose frequency reaches a level that they travel to another density. Mm -hmm. They go forth to a higher plane of existence. And those left behind will reincarnate back to the frequency that they are on. So they will that continue. That is sorrow mm -hmm. to us. We are sad by that. We do not want this. We this is why we eat the call. This is why we are here.
How can we ensure that these souls that are being born now are not going to be manipulated back into the darkness by those, the society, by the school system, by the religion? How can we ensure that these little souls... They knew before they came mm -hmm. the dangers, the possibility of them being engulfed. But the strength of them, they are strong. Okay. And, and they are warriors. Mm. They are ready. They will do all that they can to fulfill their mission. Mm -hmm. oh, but there, there are no guarantees. No guarantees. That they will not become ensnared. Mm -hmm. But, but as the life force is of beings and souls that are awakening, they will gravitate. And in that, they will quicken. And so more will move towards their purpose than not. Because the force grows stronger. The knowledge, the information, spreads mm -hmm. and it quickens and they come to strengthen it and they move towards the light and though there are no guarantees no guarantees they stand a better chance than we do how can a parent of one of these little light warriors handle their children how do they recognize that they have a warrior what are the signs so so many don't. Mm -hmm. They, they're different. They want different things. They see different things. They, they don't conform. <laughs> they have a rebellious mm. nature. And it's not Parents need to understand that it's not against them. Mm -hmm. It's against the norm. What is considered normal in this society? Mm -hmm. Like cleaning your room? They rebel against. <laughs> cleaning your room, brushing it's, your teeth, things like that? It's, uh, no. <laughs> it's, they, it, it's, they, the parents want to put the uniform of this society on mm -hmm. them. They don't want to wear it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't fit them. And they know it. And they know, they instinctively know it. So a parent must allow the child to travel his own path, support it. Even if the child looks and feels different, wants different things. Mm -hmm. Allow it. They must be an allowance. This is how the parents can help these children. They must be an allowance to allow them to flourish and blossom, support them. They must remove themselves out of their way mm -hmm. and the child will blossom. So a situation where a child is rebelling against their school system, they don't want to do the homework, they don't want the testing, they don't want the, the discipline that's going on. How does a parent handle that? A parent must find what the child inclines to, what the child is interested in, mm -hmm. and feed that. The child wants to be fed, mm -hmm. and they must feed the child that, and that would allow the child to tolerate this what the society and the schools are setting forth before the child. Mm -hmm. And some parents who are strong can remove their child altogether mm -hmm. and teach the child themselves if they are awakened. Mm -hmm. They can do that. 
they can do that as well. That is the best course for these children. And when they lay that foundation for them, it will be strong enough for them to move forth in their mission and their purpose. And society will not cause them to collapse mm -hmm. because they will see through it all mm -hmm. and will be able to navigate very skillfully if their parents follow those rules. Very good. Thank you so much for that explanation. I know it's going to be very well received. Mm -hmm. Would you do a body scan and tell me if there's anything that we need to take care of today? I know she does much of that herself. She does. Mm -hmm. She just, she needs more energy in her uterus. Okay. Can I ask Archangel Raphael to fill that for her? Give her the energy? Absolutely. Thank you. He comes forth. He his hand. He places it there. She feels it. Wonderful. Thank you so much yeah. for all of the help you've given her today. I know she's really going to appreciate it. I certainly have. Yes. And now? We must say this mm -hmm. one thing. Yes. That we thank you. That we thank you. That what you do helps many souls. Many come to you. Oh, I forgot. Whose souls propel them for the torch? And you help them. You connect them. You open the door for some. You heal others. This work of yours, it must continue. You will, your light will become greater and more vast because your work is necessary. It's necessary. So we thank you and we ask you not to. Waver, not to doubt, not to hesitate. Know that you are supported in all that you do. And so we thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. And I'd like to thank all of those archangels and angels and guides that help me and support me, my higher self to do this work for others, to do my mission. Thank you. Are we complete? We are. Thank you very much. Wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. Wow. Wow is too small of a word. Yes. <laughs> wow. How do you feel? Very light. Very light. But uh, I felt so so vast. Mm -hmm. I felt expansive. Mm -hmm. I felt a part of the the universe, space. Mm -hmm. uh, what a journey, huh? I remember my people. Mm -hmm. I remember myself as a light being. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember us encircling that planet 
beautiful planet. It looks like Saturn, not quite. Mm. And they were the energy bands around it. Beautiful. It's such a and beautiful. And the city was. <laughs> it was magnificent. It was so gorgeous. You'll have to. You'll have to draw it out yeah. or something. Yeah, it's hard to explain. Yeah. They had buildings, but they were very streamlined and made of this metal. And then there was glass, and they had railways to Railways. Like they, yeah, they, they, the for traffic. Yes. And then they had flying craft too as well. Beautiful. It was very advanced. <laughs> they were tall, very tall. And, tall beings. Yeah, and they had round heads and the specks on their <laughs> bodies. <laughs> skin. But they were it was very they were very peaceful people. Mm-hmm. Very happy, it seemed. Very, very spiritual. Uh, they um, had a just a beautiful fool about them. It, they, they just they went about their business. They, they, uh, th- there was no discord. Mm-hmm. It was very. And you were very happy about that too, because our work. Mm-hmm. The energy, the love, and the light that we gave, it fed them, it, it nurtured them, they, it, it was a gift to them. How long do you feel that you're on this journey? You mean how long did I mm-hmm. under? The session. I say, I say about an hour. <laughs> two. Was it two hours? We're about a, an hour and 57 minutes oh right now. Oh my God. Seriously? Are you yeah, serious? serious? I'm serious. Oh my goodness. You had a lot of information, my dear. Oh my God. I didn't know that. It was that long. Was it two hours? Close to two hours. Oh my God. So this was a mind-blowing session. Is this something that you want to share with people? It had a lot of information for everybody. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, because that, that you have be a fun. very important mission in life. To spread the light. I, I can't tell you how big. <laughs> it's mm, big. It's big the life. the the angels and the beings mm. in the the encirclement of there were many and they were all in the circle and then there were those that were behind them and mm-hmm. the, their energy was so so powerful that it weighed on my chest. I was feeling it too. And uh, I was feeling all sorts of energy, like my yeah. whole body was like fizzy. It, it was <laughs> so like Alka Seltzer. That's why it was like so. Before this, you know, when when I was sitting with my crystals and my pendulum and my and my prayers, you know, I felt small and I felt like I was mm-hmm. reaching for the. But I'm so connected they're there they're, they're there for you they're there that, so all, now I, you, all I have to do is just ask yeah. just ask that's what just, they always ask just ask. I mean it's not even doesn't have to be a prayer right you just they're right it. there make it so just they're right there yeah yeah and people and don't understand and there's such a force yeah. yeah oh my god I can't oh, tell you yeah. how powerful so let's. Oh my God! Okay. Let's say goodbye, to everybody. So wow, 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 yes, wow. <laughs> so we are here in Atlanta, Georgia, and we just had. I don't even have the words to describe this. Yeah, it, it was very, very powerful. I got the opportunity to <laughs> feel the how connected I am, how vast our souls are, and how expansive our beings are, mm-hmm. and. Uh, it, it overwhelming and that our guides are right there with us all we have mm-hmm. to do is ask mm-hmm. we're not small beings who are reaching out for something great we're part of the the vastness and the greatness of spirit and mm-hmm. the universe we're, we're fully connected and we're large now the interesting thing about this session is that when you arrived you yes. told me what that I had never been hip. I've been hypnotized twice. And well, you weren't hypnotized. You well, said. I guess I wasn't. 
It, I wasn't, I wasn't um, successfully hypnotized. I mm -hmm. went to a hypnotherapist and nothing, nothing. Nothing. So, so she, I was a little. She was like a little poo pooing this. Yeah, like, I was. It's not gonna work. I was little. Yeah, I was a little <laughs> skeptical, <laughs> apprehensive about it. Uh huh. And it, I, wow. And uh, when did you says, feel wow. that this was gonna work? Um, I felt that. I knew that my higher self was speaking through me when I became pure energy, when I became the energetic being that I was, mm -hmm. uh, and spirit just spoke straight through me. My, my higher self was right there, that, that's, that's when I knew. And I was feeling it too because I was vibrating yeah. like crazy. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, I know you were, my, my, but I was. I was, the, I was like, yeah, you know, was, everything was fast. There was so much energy. Energy yeah. that was all around me and my, and my around chest, the room. it was so heavy. Mm -hmm. It was just so heavy from it. Uh, they were all around me. Oh my God, it was so heavy. Whew. I'm still processing, guys. <laughs> so honestly, I I highly recommend Alba for um, all of those who seek to understand um, who we are, what our purpose and mission is, but also seek to understand our higher selves. Mm -hmm. And um, just, she she is just a tool and an aid mm -hmm. that uh, works with us it's for our higher selves to speak to us. Mm -hmm. and, and for me, it's it's really got me on purpose and mission. I, I, I can't believe um, to the degree, but you know, I'm so happy I'm so for thankful. you. Yeah, I'm, I'm so, so happy. Thankful, Alva. Compared to it's what? It's wonderful. Two hours ago, when you when yeah. you came in. Oh my in. God, I, did, I can't tell you how <laughs> I was thinking like a little human, just a little being right here, mm -hmm. and I You're feel huge so now. huge, so vast, it, it's, and loved, it's, and loved, and at peace, and mm. at peace, even with my past. And all, a, a lot of the pain. I'm, I'm just at peace with it. Wonderful. Yes, it's Wonderful. beautiful. So if you want a session with me, go to albawyman.com, sign up. And like uh, you've just heard, I'm in Atlanta. I do travel around the country. So sign up for my newsletter to see if I'll be in a city near you. So until the next time, bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alba. <laughs> beautiful session. Thank you. Thank you.